In this video, I'll show you how to transfer photos or videos that you have on your iPad Air 4th or 5th generation to a USB drive just like this one. The only thing you need here is a USB Type-C to USB Type-A OTG adapter. It's very important that it's an OTG adapter since if it's not, it won't work. I have put a link in the description if you want to get one from Amazon. You can also use, by the way, a USB Type-C hub that has many ports here. I'll also put a link in the description, but it's a bit overkill for just this operation. It's also important that uh, you make sure that this USB storage is formatted the right way. I'll put right on the screen here all the formats that the iPad Air accepts. So make sure it's one of them. All right, to start, connect the USB flash drive to your adapter and then simply plug it into your USB-C plug on your iPad Air. Okay, just to make sure that it's recognized, go into your files, this icon right over here, tap on it. And right here under locations, you should see your USB flash drive. Mine is here, King's 16 gigs. And now go into your photos. Open this. Here you have all the pictures, all the videos you have on your iPad that you took with it. You're gonna press on the select button on the top right corner, right over here, press on it and select everything that you want to uh, put on your USB flash drive. So let me select a few things. When you're done, on the lower left side, you need to press on this small icon here, press it once, then go down until you see save to files, right over here, tap on it. And it will ask you where do you want it to save it. You need to tap on your USB flash drive, tap on it. And if you have folders on your USB flash drive, you're going to see them here and you can select them if you want to put them in a separate folder. You can also tap on your USB flash drive and click on this small folder, folder with a plus sign and you'll be able to create a new folder. So let's say iPad folder, press done, and the folder will be created on your flash drive. Select it and press the save button. Now it can take a few seconds, a few minutes. It really depends how many pictures, how many videos you want to transfer. You can see here it's working. You don't have any bar telling you uh, how much percentage is done. You just have to wait. And uh, I'll wait here. It's still spinning. When it will be done, you're going to see. And when we're done, the screen will simply go away. You can go back, go into your files here go on your USB flash drive and just to confirm tap on it and you should see the pictures and video that you have transferred on it. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Please leave a like, a comment and I will see you in the next video.